What's up, what's up? It's your boy Obey who say what's up records lay production back at you another one, another one, another one. You already know man, where you stop man, I quit, give up. Shit. Look right. Man, this another one, man. This is basically a review, but it can't be a review if you follow me because you know I use this all the time, man. It's one of my favorite plugins in the world. So but it's a it's a job, man. I probably get a lot of haters off this joint, man. This y'all gonna be a hater, hateration joint, man. Like people outside of here, I talk to already can get down feel me on this one, man. But we gray have a problem, Houston. Look, this what we got going on, man. We got the IQ Pro. It just went to three point three R. If you don't know. They just now stepped it up, man. 24 bands, you know what I mean? I guess they just feel like playing around with a couple companies, man. I ain't going to really say no names. I'm quiet, right? But they really trying to show that, man, $40 can do you better than 200 250 180 a deal. Man, this is the deal, man, for real. It ain't close, man. And I didn't factor it in all the pluses of the so-called uh, best EQ out there, which y'all all should know what everybody say, the best EQ. I mean, to go grab, everybody go grab all day, as you're going to see on all the videos, pull it out, right? And it's a great EQ, you know? It's like that. I can't even lie. I can't deny it. I ain't even going to play with it and be like, it ain't the look. It make you want to just keep playing with it. It just it make you want to keep something. I can't even fake it. Just do that off the break. You wanna you wanna use it, man. It's great and then it sounds great. It really work at the frequencies great. Even in zero latency mode, it worked like similar like to a linear phase EQ because it's only working at. I mean, you really feel it only working at the frequencies you working at. Like for cutting. It's great. It cuts so great. Like, it boosts good, too. I mean, it's a great EQ. It's real clean. Like, when they say clean, if you really know what clean is, it's a clean EQ. All right. Enough on that. It's a clean EQ. <laughs> I mean, clean is it going to get, man. You get out of it what you do with it. What you doing, either you making something better or you messing something up. That's what clean basically is, like. The clean EQs is saying how good of a mixer you are for real. So don't think because you're going to go get a great EQ, you're great to start getting great results. You could become the worst mixer in the world in a matter of minutes because you it's so clean. Clean EQs are scarier than a color EQ. If you really don't know too much about mixing, invest in color EQs because a color EQ will slow you down from doing so much crazy stuff because you will get excited about the color a lot so you just you'll find yourself saying oh yeah that sound good but clean eqs you are doing all the sculpting so you can cut out something that will make everything go out of whack and you think you lift this and that's gonna fix that because you didn't want to go take out what you added because you think you know what you're doing because you're eqing that's the difference with a clean eq so you can easily mess something up if you don't know what you're doing start off with get these eqs right here but do your boosting with do your boosting and cutting at first if you don't know what you're doing with eqs with knobs that got set frequencies get a paramedic eq like this and you want to make sure that you're watching it with this first before you even getting into really using one of these just watching what you've done put the plug in before it and watch what it's doing to the frequency when you turning up stuff and cutting stuff so you can see the reaction then you'll get used to using one of these eqs you can go watch videos and learn how to use it but i'm telling you clean eq is different so we'll be talking about so i'm gonna just show you we got 24 bands like I say so now you got 24 bands so basically 
that's a band for each spectrum area. You see these lines right here that they got set up. That's basically accounted for one for each line, 24. So it's 24, it's 26 spectrums, 27 all together, right? Spaces, in between the spaces. So you got basically a node for each one until the biggest ones right here, right? And this right here, so do you get to see this? They didn't give you this uh, setting right here. I made this set myself. So I loaded 24 bands on it because they can give you 24 now. So I put one in every space. And with this right here, with the 24 bands, and then it's just already set right here. So these these four that's up here, these are my preference spots where I will have my high pass filters and stuff at. I mean, my high shelves at starting, where I would start off with my high shelves at. So I got a high shelf in the position where I normally have my high shelf. That, that's how I would do it. So I got a level two where I will have my low shelves at. I got one in the 100 and one in around the 50. So they already ready for me. So if I need to do anything with my low shelf or whatever, like how the knob plugins will be, it's already there for me. All of them already there for me. Then if I just need to go tackle anything in frequency ranges, I just go click on a node right at that frequency because it's 24 nodes here. Man, and I didn't done it, and I didn't done it already on multiple tracks. No sluggish effect, no nothing. So you already know over here you can go name all your tracks. Then you can side chain watch any other spot where the EQ at. So the frequency going to come in and you can work against it. And you know that then. You already know all the different uh, curves you got. All the, you got the bezel, the bezel band, the bezel high pass. You got the bezel low pass, butter low pass, butter low shelf, and is this official, man? Then you can go change your orders. You go all the way up right here to this flat out. This one like a hundred or something. This is ninety six. I think this is like a hundred and something. Straight down wall. This will just make like. And then I've been using it too, like man, to make on this song right here. I use it for my vocals on this song, the dual effect, man, great. So then you got this right here, another piece that's not on the other one, but on the big boy, the supposed to be big boy, right? You got go in the series or parallel mode. This will make you be able to emulate them plugins them analog plugins like you'll see me doing like the uh pull text and stuff because they go in they do their eqing through a parallel phase and that's how they making you be able to cut and boost in the same areas that's what they doing parallel phasing so this button right here would allow you to go in from parallel to series bypass then you got mid and side so and then the thing what i like about this plugin is i can see my mid and side separate right here you know what I mean? I ain't got to switch from window to window or none of that, right? Shit, this is great, man. Then the point of this, I can just rename everything. It's just so great. So I just be able to go know where everything at right in here. One plug-in can control all my instances. It's great. $40. Can't beat it. All right. So this is basically a review and basically a shootout. But we ain't really shooting nothing out, but... This is basically the big boy I was talking about. You already know what I was talking about, the Fab EQ. So, why the pluses with this is out of this world too. Like some of the stuff you just can't even argue. Like you got the keyboard option where you could put, you can really be knowing what uh, note you at, where you killing. So this speed up the process for me on like working with my uh, sips and stuff. I ain't gonna lie, it speed up, it speed it up. Like it make and it give you this key this EQ gonna give you uh more knowledge of knowing the keyboard. It's gonna make you know what tone set if you don't know. Like I'm not like I say, I'm not a uh person who really play the keyboard, I just play by ear. So it's making me come more knowledgeable, knowing I can hear somebody's music and know that, oh, that's a 
uh, D shop and stuff like that. Like it's making me, uh, you know, it's making you feel it. It's making you know, you know what I mean? You hearing it. And I'm really only doing it in my head. Like I say, I ain't reading no music. I ain't doing none of that. I'm just, I'm playing straight by ear. Everything, when I make a song, it's mainly a idea. And I've been making songs for like 10, 15 years. I'm making songs. Not like a lot of hip hop people, they come up, they just, in my era, they record all the thought process of, another person like they heard a beat and they be like oh i killed that dream they like that though they can really rap you know what i mean but they ain't think up their idea i've been thinking up ideas and making songs for like 15 like good 15 years so i'm making songs so i come at every song as a song an idea turned into a song from scratch you know what i mean it always been like that with me so that's just how I look at it. And because I look at it like that, I don't think I need to have as much uh, of the music playing knowledge. I mean, you know what I mean? Instrument knowledge. Because I know where I want. I always knew where I wanted to get to with songs. I always knew where I wanted to take songs. And I was willing to figure out whatever it take to get that. You know what I mean? So that was my thing. I know I'm rambling off. But this EQ... It just got so many pluses too, like so you got when you when it's playing you can go up the wave and while the wave playing you can catch it right there where them peaks at and it'll make a note exactly right there. You can go switch from mid to side. You can uh check. You got a different range of how you want the it to be leaning. You know what I mean your slope. You want your slope to be your tilt right here, and you got your speed. And then this is basically how tall you want it to be your wavelength, and uh, the resolution is how big you want it to be. And you got side change, and it's basically side change from whatever track you want it to be coming. The same thing I was just saying with the other EQ. This basically gonna do the same thing. You know what I mean? But this plugin, I think I just ended up getting it for. Uh, Black Friday, so I got it 180. But I think it's like 250 or something, regular or something like that. I'm not sure, but I think it's like 250. But I had to go ahead and grab it because everybody use it. And everybody always got it in this. You know what I mean? I'm in the plugins like tennis shoes, man. So they be, it become Jordans, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I might got to get it, man, but. They did some tight Reeboks. The motherfuckers gonna be sitting there, man. You feel me? Like these, this right here was like Jordans to me. Like everybody got it that know something about something, so I had to go get it. So, but what I tell you, uh, I will call it to me. It's a Taz EQ. It's a tactical Taz EQ. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that I will pull this out to conquer tasks to go over there and conquer some tasks that I need to do that I know I want to really conquer. It's not a every track EQ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I heard everybody feelings. I'm sorry if I did. But it's not a every track EQ. And that would have been great if it would have been that like the high EQ Pro is. I mean, you're going to have somebody probably tell you that and say, yeah, it is. I put it on every track. Man. Okay, it's gonna be one out of hundred million, and ask them what they system running on, what they running their system on. We be talking about, I'm talking about to the average level of the person that's sitting in the house with his laptop and with your computer with no more than four to eight gigs of RAM. You know what I mean? And uh, say a five hundred gig hard drive and things like that. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody tell you anything. You know, I'm only going to tell you some real stuff, man. I only got the Fab EQ on. On. Let me see. Let's see how many tries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. It's on eight tracks, man. And I'm getting sluggish effects already. That's why I stopped. I started this whole edit trying to use the Fab. I was going to use the Fab EQ all the way out. 
I was going to fab EQ it all the way out. You know me. I'm going to test it. I'm going to try to run it and see how far I can go. I'm going to try to push it, the plug into its limit until I crash. Because I know traction going to open back up. So I don't care. I'm going to go till it crash. I'm going to run you all the way to the ground. So I drive it like it's a Chevy. You feel me? So I'm going to drive it hard, man. And I got it on eight tracks. And what will happen is when it's playing, sometimes like after like 20 minutes of play you'll come back you'll click on it and your meter have a, a space missing in it it'll, it'll be jumping slow it'll be moving slow it'll still be working you still getting the eq you done but it'll be moving slow the meter and everything be moving slow but like i say the look and there, i know that's why it's moving slow because there's so much energy wasted on how good this eq look the performance of that look is so good. Like I say, you'll get stuck with just wanting to use this. So, but what I would do with it, I'll pull it out for mastering, for my master track, my buses, i put it on there. Like that's going to become my bus EQ and my uh, master fader EQ. But track the track, it is over. It ain't nothing to think about. It ain't, it, it ain't close. Uh, that I EQ Pro will be my track to track EQ. You know what I mean? Unless they come up with an update that's going to uh, stop that for me. But I ain't even going to go. Listen, man. I ain't going gonna to let nobody tell me anything. You understand what I'm saying? It's only an update going to be to fix this. Nobody else going to be able to tell me nothing different. I put it on like 12 tracks and it, it was just, man, you go click on the play. And then what was weird about it, it was like, uh, like all the first instance of it was still working good, right? But the latest ones that are like down here, the later it get down the tracks, them the ones that stopped working. Like it was like the newer instances of it was the ones getting sluggish, not the ones already put. So that was weird. Like it wasn't all of them. But like I say, man, great plug-in when you just you task handling. You ready to just go straight to some tasks. It's great, great plugin. Uh, like I said, you can go to full screen, but this can basically do the same thing because you can just resize this to whatever size you want. I mean, make it disappear if you want. You feel me? So it do the same thing. This, the meter ran now on uh, 3.3. They made it a the line a little thinner. I'm jive mad about that. And the other thing, both of these plugins are whacked out with. I use my Nano Control, and I use my Nano Control to control all my plugins. So I'm gonna show you. This is my EQ that I just load up for my Nano Control. I can control five bands with my Nano Control. You know what I mean? Uh, my Nano Controller too. I can control five bands, but I can't use, and this is the reason why I load up both versions. I can't use uh, the II EQ Pro 3.3 3 version. Like I use the older version for it to still work on my controller. For something what they done, they done whacked out all the control features. Like, see, this is my first knob on my Nano controller, and it's moving my my third node. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with the. Uh, it's the same thing with the Fab. EQ, the the control settings, you will have to go map that again yourself to a controller, cause it don't, it ain't got no good mapping set already up. All my other plugins, boom, I cut them on. I just I already know where each knob gonna be compressors and stuff. I know just where the threshold gonna be for most of them, you know. But this one, that they messed it up. I uh, I emailed them. To ask him, can he uh, fix it or whatever, you know what I mean? Email him to see, can he fix it over at uh, DDMF. I ain't say nothing to the fab, fab company or whatever, but man, great EQ. Never, is, it's still nothing close that I use yet. Uh, like I say, for if you just saying to handle something right there, the fab EQ, nothing close. Track for track, nothing close, IIEQ Pro for the money and everything, $40. It can't be beat. It's impossible. You can buy five of them. 
You can buy five of them for the price of this, you know what I mean? And you're going to be able to put it on early track. And then if you ask me, do you still need the Fab Filter Pro E Pro Q2? If you asking me that, nope. And I'm sorry to say that part too. You really don't really need it. I mean, take of it. The point, like I told you, is like Jordan's, man. You can go get you two pairs of shoes right now, or you can spend this 200 and you can get you some Jordan's, you feel me, because you really want them. But you can go get you two pair. I mean, like me in my city, we're going to go get us some 990s, man. You know, in DC, we're going to go get us some New Balance. You're going to get you two pair of New Balance or a pair of Tim's or Sale Time and some New Balance, man. You know what I mean? Or something, whatever. But, or you can go get them Jordans, man. It's the Jordans. You want you want the Jordans. You can get the Jordans. You didn't, you never went wrong with getting the Jordans. You're going to walk in the party and the person going to say, oh, everybody got them, but he got on the Jordans. You feel me? So, that's what this like, man. You can get the Jordans or you can say, man, I want to be fresh again tomorrow and kill him again tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve today, but I want to kill him again on Christmas. Or you can get the Jordans. You have your Jordans on Christmas Eve. You have them on, on Christmas too, man. That's what this like, man. So that's up to you, man. But if you're asking me, man, the Fab going to stay on the show. If I ain't got the money, the Fab going to stay on the show. But like I told you, man, I'm in the plug-in, like tennis shoes. So, man, I had to go get it because everybody ranting about it, man. But I'm sad to say, man, that it will not be on every track, man. It will be on buses. I will definitely be using it. I will be doing some sound designing with it. It's going to be so great for that. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot of sound designing with this joint. Like, so, like, it's a great plug-in, man. But the winner, man, you got to leave out with it, man. IIE Pro. More bands, everything. It do everything it do. It just don't look as good. Just being honest, man. This one, for $40, though, you're talking about buying five of these for the price of that one. So, you do your math on it. It's your boy, your baby, say their productions, and I'm out.